my name is Katie and welcome or welcome back. I still feel like my camera is crooked. I don't know, it looked okay in the frame. Hopefully it's fine or else I guess I'll be refilming this later. Um, I'm here today to do the Moody Reader Tag. Full disclosure, I haven't even looked at these questions, although I have seen a couple people do this tag, so I think I should be okay. Um, this tag was created by Brittany at Slanted Spines, and I will link her original video in the description box. Um, I recently saw Emma from a couple books do this tag, and she said she tags anybody who wants to do it, and I decided I want to do it, so, um, Emma tagged me. <laughs> Question one, do you consider yourself a mood reader? Absolutely yes. Um, my mood not only affects how I feel about a book, it affects whether or not I even want to pick books up. <laughs> it's just, it is, it is, it's just who I am. I'm always in awe of people who are like super regimented with their reading. I don't understand. I, I just, I, I'm not that way. Question two, do you set TBR lists and do you stick to them? Yes and no. <laughs> I set TBR lists and sometimes I stick to them. I, I would say on average I'll read about 80% of my TBR list. And I, I think that's pretty okay. I'm, I'm not mad at that. Question three. Do books affect you emotionally? Does the mood of a book rub off on you? <sighs> okay, I don't really know how to answer this question. There are certain books where I'll finish it and I just have to sit there for a bit with my emotions. But usually, like, within an hour or two, I'm fine. So it, it won't, like, affect my entire day. But there are times when I just have to, like, sit with my thoughts for a little bit before I can actually talk to anybody. Question four. When you're feeling sad, what do you read or do you not read when you're sad? Honestly, I don't think this makes all that much difference to me. Um... I'm sure I do read when I'm feeling sad. When I'm really stressed out though, a lot of times I'll either just put something stupid on TV and play games on my cell phone, or I'll go sit at my computer and I'll play like a real easy game like Stardew Valley or something that just helps relax me. When I'm like sad though, I don't think, I don't know, I don't, I don't feel like I read anything in particular. I know um, a lot of the time, like like when I've been stuck in bed because of my knee surgery and stuff, I tend to really want to read thrillers, and I think it's because like it's nice to read about somebody whose life is worse than mine. <laughs> I don't know. I, I didn't answer that question at all. Okay, question five. Most often, do you use reading to escape, to learn, or to crit critically reflect? Um, bit of both, or a bit of all three actually, I do enjoy using reading as an escape, but I also equally enjoy using it to learn. And I feel like Critically Reflect could kind of also be classified under learning. Um, I don't know. I know I definitely read more for escapism and or learning than I do like actually like, critically reflect on books that I've read. Although I will say, the challenges that I've been like setting for myself this past year have had me reflecting on things a lot more than I normally do. So I guess what I'm actually saying is I read for all of these reasons. <laughs> uh, question six, what is a book that made you laugh out loud? Um, <laughs> currently I'm listening to the audiobook for Smoke Gets In Your Eyes by Caitlin Doty. And that has made me laugh out loud several times. <laughs> so I'm enjoying that for sure. Um, I know there was another one recently that I read that made me laugh out loud, but I honestly can't remember what it is. But, so we'll just go with the Caitlin Doty thing. Uh, question seven, what is a book that has made you cry or if you don't cry, one that really moved you? I really don't cry when I read books, but recently I finished, I don't even know where it's at right now, 
Dear Edward by Anne Napolitano. It's about a 12 year old boy who was the only survivor of a plane crash. And there was a moment in the book where I had one or two tears drip down my face. I know, that never happens. Um, let's see, question eight. What is a book that you didn't even know how you felt about? <laughs> Split Tooth by Tanya Tukak. Oh my god. All I can say about that book is that it is an experience. I didn't rate it because I don't know how to rate it because I don't know how I feel about it. There are parts of it that I just thought were beautiful and I loved them and then there were parts of it that completely weirded me out and I could have done without. So I don't know. I'm very mixed up inside. Question 9. Are you more likely to read on a sunny day or a cloudy day? It doesn't matter. I read all the time. But I will say, a cloudy day, maybe with a bit of rain, and you have like a cup of hot cocoa and a blanket, and you just cuddle up in bed reading, is like my favorite thing in the world. Question 10. Do you usually set the mood when you read? Music, lights, smells, etc.? No. <laughs> Not really. I don't like super bright lights. So during the day, I'll have like my curtains open and stuff. And then in the evenings, I don't like to turn overhead lights on. I just like little lamps. So that's what I read too, I guess, in the evening. But I don't think that's really so much setting the mood. It's just a general preference in life. And then I burn candles all the time. So that's not really a specific reading thing. Uh, question 11, the last question. Can you leap from book to book or do you need buffer time between them? Oh, yeah, I don't care. I think I'm reading like eight books right now. <laughs> and like, I'll have ones that I'll put down for weeks on end and then I'll just pick them up and start right back where I left off. It doesn't, it doesn't really bother me. I don't usually need any buffer time. The only exception to that is if like, I was emotionally moved or found a book to be very impactful. Um, sometimes I'll need to sit for like an hour and think on it, but then I'm pretty much good. I can just go on to the next thing. But the average book I read, yeah, no, I can just put it down and start something else. So that was the Moody Reader book tag. I'm pretty sure this was fairly quick. I'm not really, <clears throat> I'm not really a chatty person. Like in my real life, when I'm like going back and forth with people, I think I'm a lot more chatty than I am on camera. Maybe. I don't know. But I hope you enjoyed it. Either way, thank you for watching. I hope to chat with you soon. <laughs> Bye.